is very vulnerably housed. Would you have any suggestions as to where we could have access to maybe getting him in a shelter at the moment? So well, I know the region is moving to a centralized list at this point, so you could certainly try and get him on that list. So CANDID uh, stands for Choice and Dignity in Death. CANDID is a program for individuals who are vulnerably housed or experiencing a number of social uh, vulnerabilities as well. So they may be living in poverty, they're very isolated, they can't move through the traditional healthcare system in the way that you or I might be able to. And so we wanted to provide services in a different way, in a way that the, they could um, be seen and be allowed to be who they are. Um, both while they're living and, and when they're dying as well. They have this ongoing issues with accessing the healthcare services because of the history of trauma that's in their lives. It has initially started about three years ago with some seed funding from the Ministry of Health and has been carried on uh, by the Canadian Mental Health Association knowing the priority of this population really not having ability to access good palliative care anywhere else. Do them where if at. you don't have a home address, you're not able to access nursing or PSW support. So it takes a creative team to say, how are we going to meet the needs of the individual? And again, coming together. So the barrier is that they don't have access to, you know, the same type of medication or nursing care or administration of medication uh, for end of life, or they don't have a bed to die on. Approximately 85% of the individuals that we've been working with from a candid perspective have had their care plan documented and actually have been able to move through their care plan um, as planned. So that means individuals who wish to die at home, died at home, and individuals who wish to die in hospital, died in hospital. And I hear you now have some somewhere to live. Having a nurse practitioner-led program really combines that art and science to palliative care. And they do that so well, so effortlessly, really. And so it's just been uh, so, you know, inspiring to work with this Candid team and their dedication to really caring holistically for uh, this population. Hi Stephanie, it's Stephanie, how are you? The nurse practitioner at the clinic, uh, Stephanie is our lead, so she came up with a uh, really great program to help the homeless and vulnerable clients in the time of COVID. So she um, initiated the Mission United along with the mayor and other people that are involved with the program. So she set up a clinic there that people, or they don't have to have health cards, you know, they don't, as long as they've got something that they can identify them and then they try to encourage them to come back. We have uh, the nurse practitioner, the physician, the registered nurse. We have uh, as well the primary care outreach uh, team. So these are individuals who go out into the community into tent cities and they sort of, you know, initiate a uh, relationship and sort of identify people who have healthcare needs that are not being met. We're able to check on them on a regular basis and then connect them when they need to be connected to the services that they are wanting to be connected to. It's really more about their comfort and. And if they're ready and they want to start discussing, then it's about us supporting them with maybe getting into a place as they get closer to the end of their lives, um, us being able to support that um, while they stay connected to the medical piece. So we do share an electronic medical records with PS Suite and TELUS, and that allows us to share information electronically within the patient chart, but also to connect remotely via video. We're on site with a 45-year-old male. He appears to have had an infection. So this link uh, just opens it up that they can talk directly to the doctor without having to go anywhere. Yeah. Any medication allergies? Just not necessarily. They don't want the help, but they don't trust the system. No. And we're kind of bringing the trust of the system that it is in place to them and over time we kind of get a good connection with them. So this is a way for them to re-enter the system again and start to have support wrapped around them. So when they come to here to Mission United they have access now to these broad range of services that they can access in the moment. What about pharmacy? We work with peer support. We work with the pharmacy team very closely. We work with the palliative pain and symptom management consultant. Uh, 
uh, again, just to sort of learn a little bit more as needed to meet the needs of the individual. And we also work with the home care division. We're here today to take a quick peek at a unit that was used for our candid program. So this is a key innovation in my mind that the CMHA Durham Nurse Practitioner-led clinic has been involved with in allowing for the combination of different sectors, sectors in healthcare, which we are part of, but then also sectors with housing. We had a, a unit where we would bring people in from the street who didn't have a home and so that they could have their own apartment, so dignity conserving, as well as a place to die, a place to be cared for and to receive care from the system. So I'm here today just to do a, uh, a brief inspection of the actual unit. For the people who moved into a unit that they could control the air conditioning, they can control the heat and have all the amenities, it was, uh, I mean, it was one thing they didn't have to worry about. Then they could focus on the care that, that they needed at that time. And as their needs changed, the unit was set up to accommodate. The bathroom has some uh, accessible uh, parts here that would make it easier for someone bathing. We try to meet them where, where they're at. That's why when Stephanie did have the, the house, the one bedroom apartment for the candidate unit, it was excellent because she had, I know that she definitely had one really good death there where the person was actually reunited with their family closer to the end of life. And he may not have got that elsewhere. And that's, that's amazing. And I think the beauty of this program is that people adapt to the needs of the person and what they need. Uh, and they almost become family-like. We have to step in the gap. And I think it creates and challenges the healthcare system not just to stay so focused on our approach to care. And if we really truly are compassionate and walk alongside people in their journey, then it's, it will transform healthcare because that's what it's supposed to be, is walking alongside people in their journey, not ours. And Candid just exemplifies this approach to care. We, need to, we do need to see an investment in this team-based care. We need to see a commitment from Ontario Health to this work. We're at a point where we, we do need to revisit um, the housing issue. And so we really need to have access to a consistent, reliable unit for individuals to palliate and die when they otherwise would be on the street. and well-being.